hopefully my camera is not gonna overheat you guys but welcome welcome back to my channel you guys my name is kat today we're gonna do a thrift haul and also i'm actually gonna do this in two separate videos i have two unboxings well i kind of already opened the boxes but i wanted to share with you guys what i got in these two packages these two gifts that i got and if i did that in this video it'll be like forever long so i'm gonna actually do the unboxing the unboxing in the video i post right after this and then we're gonna do a haul first so oh, oh. <laughs> don't want to break it oh and y'all it was a piece that i broke i'm gonna just show y'all that first hold on where is it okay so i took a clip i took close-ups of all of these items yesterday um so i had took the close-up of this item yesterday and then when i put it in the back seat to drive home child the dang the the um the top of it i heard it like clash and i was like oh my gosh what is that that broke and it was the top to this thing but i'll insert a clip of what it looked like because the top was so beautiful you guys i absolutely love the shape of it i love this amber glass and i really love that it has these kind of um what am i trying to say a geometric pattern on the side like where it has these like block situations in the glass y'all y'all feel what i'm saying but i really and, and y'all look at how big this is like this would be great to put coffee beans in or in your bathroom with like cotton swabs and stuff like that and i was just so sad y'all because i actually looked this up and i believe that this is actually a vintage piece and i just really love this type of glass and this is like really sturdy very well made glass too so i was just really sad but i mean i guess you could still use it like this but the top was so cute and this was four dollars so but it is what it is <laughs> so then i'm moving right along so my camera just overheated i try to get good lighting so y'all can actually see me but then the camera keeps overheating i'm gonna have to figure out something y'all hold on let me turn this air up i just hope it's not too loud for y'all let me turn this one off okay we gonna see but i was what was i saying next piece anyways <laughs> so I've been finding a lot of these like that one that I just showed you guys this one with the little lid thing I've been finding a lot of these lately and y'all this one I am literally obsessed with y'all look at this close up y'all already know but y'all I absolutely love this sage green color I love the shape of this the little handle on the lid and if you look closely it has so many different blues and turquoises in that detail and I absolutely love this you guys and this was a handmade piece it has a signature on the bottom of it and this was four dollars as well y'all four dollars for this handmade piece and y'all this is very well made it's very very sturdy and then even y'all look i'm gonna do a close-up of the inside as well but y'all look at the inside it's it's absolutely gorgeous and i i really love how they did that because usually in the inside they're just kind of like okay this inside they don't matter but this person really put work on every part of this and i absolutely love this is literally a piece of art and i am so in love with this i'm trying to decide if i'm gonna keep it or not <sighs> y'all i struggle with this every single time because i already know there's something for sure at least two pieces from this haul i'm definitely keeping so then next what do we got next oh yeah y'all look at this oh my goodness y'all first of all i don't know if i feel like this is supposed to be like a little planter but it doesn't have a drainage hole though so I, I don't know maybe it's just supposed to be a little vase but either way it's freaking adorable first of all y'all the gold and the black I really love the contrast of those colors it really makes this detail pop and I absolutely love how ornate and gorgeous this whole situation they have all the filigree the flowers these people on it and this is just so so stunning and I really love the size too I mean I think this would be beautiful if it was larger but just the fact that it's small and so intricate I absolutely love that about this and this was three dollars ma'am three dollars and I'm in love with it I'm in love with everything if y'all can't tell <laughs> then Y'all, this was $5, first of all, $5. And they had a 50% discount, 50% discount on this. So such a great, this is solid brass. It has a great weight to it. It has a stamp on the bottom of it. And then y'all look at the detail on this. Y'all already know the freaking etched, the brass. I love these leave details on it. I love the handle. I love the shape of this. Picture, vase could be, well, I wouldn't use it as a picture because, you know what I'm saying? But 
it would be beautiful as a vase with flowers and i just am so in love with this and literally the price i literally I, even at five dollars that's still a good price but 50 percent off of that is just amazing and i'm so so glad that i went into that store in love with this yeah i need to find other descriptive words besides absolutely gorgeous and in love with this but that's just like what it is you feel me <laughs> Hold on, y'all. I'm like, I gotta be careful. Ooh, okay. Y'all. So, um, where, when did I get this? Where did I get this? I, I can't even remember, you guys, because I went to a number of different thrift stores this past week. But you guys, I believe this is Black Onyx. Rosa, y'all, please let me know if you know. But y'all look at how beautiful this is and i am so in love with all the detail of this you guys like these flowers these leaves i really love this kind of banding that is around the stone and this is just absolutely stunning it has a little stamp on it it says child can i genuine stone on it and um yeah it's a little big for my arm but it is absolutely gorgeous and y'all now this was a little bit more pricey than normal jewelry pieces that i get but i felt like it was absolutely worth it and this was seven dollars and i am so so in love with this you guys and this has a really great weight huh ma'am it has a really great weight to it as well and i just i'm so glad i found this piece then there's a there's pieces y'all i'm 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 gonna just show you one of them okay because there's two one of the out oh, hold on hold on the sticker just came off so now one of them was in the thumbnail so y'all kind of already got a little glimpse but y'all look at the frame the detail on the frame is really simple but i absolutely love that and then it has this kind of linen um situation going around the outer edge and then y'all look at all the colors and the details on this painting this is just so detailed and so so gorgeous this was ten dollars ten dollars so for ten dollars for a handmade piece i had no problem with, with with spending that at all i just think this is absolutely gorgeous and i'm so literally so in love with that y'all then what else do we got okay i found another one of these i've been finding so many pieces that look like this the last haul that i did it was something else and i actually think it had literally the same exact flower on it like the little white flower on it it was a um what was it oh it was um like a little um wood trinket tray i'll try to insert a little clip of it in the corner somewhere so y'all can see but it literally looked almost exactly like this now this is kind of like a little trivet tray it's a really small size but very dainty and cute it has these little feet on it and again i really love anything with flowers and filigree the natural wood i really really love that and just the etching it's just this is just so gorgeous and I took the price off a lot of these items, but this one was two dollars, you guys. And I'm and you could use this for quite a multitude of things. And I just anytime I see pieces like this, I pick them up and I just really, really love that. Damn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I've been finding so many pottery pieces like this piece and then this piece. I've been finding a lot of, and these pieces are really beautiful and so well made. But y'all, look at the detail on this. I love the drips. I love all these blue colors. And then I love that it kind of fades into this like neutral brown color at the base of it. This is just literally, I, I love pieces like this that are a work of art in itself. And this is just absolutely gorgeous. It is small, but I love the level of disrespect the camera overheated again y'all about to figure out something about this because child when I, I have tried to use what is it the little ring light or whatever and it just feels like first of all it's like blinding you know and then on top of that it just feels like i'm like on a tv commercial or something and it's like action and i just don't like that's why i have a weird thing with like intros i don't know i just want to like be normal i don't know i feel like y'all get what i'm saying but anyways the vase I love it. It was five dollars, and again, it was fifty. This is at the same place, so it was fifty percent off, and I absolutely love this piece. Then, what else we got? Hold on. Oh, oh. Now, y'all, 
I am literally obsessed with this. It's not gonna show up too well right here on camera, so I'll show you guys a close up. But y'all, this definitely has wear and tear on it, but I really, especially love that about this piece. I usually love that about most pieces, but I really love that about this piece. And I really love all the detail on it. It's very subtle, but also really, really unique at the same time. Then the size of this, you guys. Now I envision this on a coffee table with like, a candle and a vase and you can put you know your remotes and stuff like that maybe a smaller coffee table book like you could basically use this to stack items on top of and I feel like this would be a great grounding piece to put on a coffee table and I, I, you could even put this on a dresser and use this to put vases and jewelry displays and stuff like that I just absolutely love this and again even though it's worn that's literally one of the things I love about it and this was four dollars for it's not the focus, but it was four dollars, and I love it. <laughs> then, what else we got? Okay, let me move some of this stuff over here. So, okay. Now, I, at first, I was literally like, I don't know what exactly this is supposed to be. It does open, and I'm assuming like it can't really be a vase because it's made of wood. So it's not like you can put water in it. I don't know. I, I tried to Google it and I really couldn't find anything that was specifically like this, but I was really, really drawn not only to the shape of this, but also the pattern. And again, it's really simple, but I really just love that simple look to it the shape the size i really love the color and i thought this was unique that the fact that this was made of wood and this was five dollars and i'm just i really 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 love this piece then okay i'm about to get to my two favorite pieces but we got one more one more one more yeah one more piece before my two favorite pieces now it's actually seven pieces but i already brought them all into the house and washed them so i just kept one in the car I'm gonna insert a clip so that you guys can see what the set looked like. So it was a set of seven of these, I guess margarita glasses you would call them, but I really am obsessed with these guys. And I've actually found these before. Before I only found a set of two, this time it was a set of seven. They were $7.99, so $8. And then at this thrift store that day, it was a ladies day. And so it was 20, I can't remember for sure, but it was either 25 or 30% off of the whole purchase. So that was such a great, still for seven of these cups, y'all. And I literally love these. First of all, they're really well made. It's very heavy duty glass. And then look at the little guy with the sombrero and the cactus. I love these they're just so cute you guys and for seven of them for that price is it, this just i had to grab them so really glad i found those and they're all in a really good condition too no cracks no chips no nothing hold on now i'm gonna i need to put this somewhere before i break this like i did the top of that other thing so now my favorite items okay i don't even know which one to do first i'm gonna do hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let me, I'm, I'm gonna pause and restart the camera because I'm afraid that it's gonna overheat and I'm gonna lose my footage, hold on y'all. All right, so the next piece, y'all, this is literally so, so, so gorgeous. I don't, whoever, I, I wanna look up this artist because uh, props to you, this is just absolutely stunning and I love everything about this, even the frame, like this is just, now the camera is making it look a little bit more like orangey gold than it really actually is in person but this is just absolutely stunning this one since it was a little so the small one was 10 this one was 15 but again for a handmade a handmade hand painted framed piece of art $15 like these were even though they're a little bit more expensive totally worth the money so then y'all this is literally my favorite piece you guys and what's crazy is i had went to a thrift store i don't know if it was last week or the week before and i saw one of these it was literally almost the exact same thing and it was behind the counter i told a lady hey can i see that and before i could even like before she even let me like see it she was like i just want to let you know it's like 130 something dollars i said oh never mind <laughs> so skip forward now this past week i'm at the thrift store and y'all I found literally almost the exact same thing. Now, a little bit more expensive for thrift store, but for $10, $130 something dollars to $10, y'all. 
and look at this the hieroglyphics on this the serpent it has an unk on the side of it it does have a little bit of wear and tear but as always i really love that it adds character i'm not really sure what this is made of it has such a great weight to it i feel like it's probably stone it doesn't have any markings on the base of it but i am just so glad i found this piece you guys i feel like this was meant for me to find and i am so grateful so that does conclude this haul i am gonna do a unboxing video right after this y'all yeah, about to add in this uh, camera overheating thing like i'm really getting frustrated <laughs> but as i was saying i'm gonna post the unboxing video right after this i really hope that you guys enjoyed the haul i feel like it's been a while it's been like two weeks since i posted a video so i'm really glad to be back i really hope that you guys are doing well i love you guys i appreciate y'all so so much and i will talk to you guys in the next video